Good enough. Thank you. Like <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Welcome back to your channel. We're actually going to build some carpenter bee traps today. There are boring holes all in this, the, our porch, the front porch, the front deck, because it's not traded wood. They're going to pretty much destroy. Last year we had to fill the holes full of silicone, and this year we've already caught like five or six this morning, just boring holes over there, so we're going to try to build some traps and get rid of them. But anyway, I'm going to use some, uh, it's actually traded wood, but it's, it's pretty dry. I'm gonna cut this and I'll show you what we're gonna do with it. We're going to, uh, if I, you'd like the ones you buy at the store, it'll be shorter than that, of course, but then I'll have the jar on the bottom of it. I gotta bore the holes. Pretty simple, pretty simple to make. So, anyway, we'll cut these and we'll be right back. I'm gonna use a, a drill bit. You gotta drill up, kind of an angle right here. Not a real sharp angle, but like a 45 degree angle. Okay. Then what you gotta do is you gotta drill on the bottom here to make that hole. That's pretty much all you do with that. And then we got these jars. Basically, drill a hole right in the center of that lid right there. Okay, right, just right in the center. All right, what I've done is I drilled a hole right in the center of the, the lid. It'd be better if you had those one piece lids that didn't, you know, the, the lid and ring, but it'd be better if you had the other one. But anyway, put it back together. In the center of the hole you just drilled, into the hole you drilled into the wood, and basically screw this lid down. There's what you're left with. That ring and screws got two screws in it, and there's your hole. And then we'll go in there. And I mean, honestly, right now you're pretty much done with it. That's all you do right there. And what they do is they go up in here to bore a hole, and uh, they get up there and see the light, and they want to come back out, so they get down the jar and they get trapped because they ain't got enough sense to get up in the hole and climb back out. But now you got to figure out a way to mount it. I think to mount this thing. I mean, like I said, you, pretty much you're done with it right there. You can get, you can pretty it up there how you want to do it. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just basically cut a piece of one by four to go up the back and leave it up about three inches and screw it in. We may put a, uh, cause it like to be under like the shed or whatever. Mm -hmm. We'll do nine inches on it. Okay. We'll just flush it up to the back like that. We'll screw it down, then you got to flush the thing. Mm -hmm. But then I might put one out this way, like kind of like an overhang. Mm -hmm. We're building this all out of scrap wood we just had laying around. These four before is a post was using on a greenhouse that was cut off. Uh, they are traded. Hopefully that won't mess it up too bad. I hadn't even planned on making these today, but walked outside and I was chewing the porch all the pieces. You want to use, if you can, you want to use untreated wood, but uh, there you go. And there you go. And that is a DIY. Carpenter bee trap. All right, guys, here's what you got. Well, I just uh, stuck it up here and fastened it to here. As you can see, the whole angle's up. And then they'll come down in there. We'll see if it works. It should. I mean, that's the general concept of it. But like I said, you should have used untreated wood. But I've had them boring in my treated wood up on the greenhouse already. So we'll see what happens. We'll leave it. If we have to change it to untreated, we will. But I'm pretty sure this will work just fine. We're going to make a few more of them and uh, we'll see what happens see if they work right. on this 
thing. These lids will slice the bejesus out of you because I just did a minute ago. Drill a hole in it, it's like that. It's like I did a minute ago. You can buy these things in Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever, and they're $20 a piece, $19.99. And we just built some out of some scrap wood we got laying around. And there's your B truck. Like I said, these are just scrap wood pieces we had. We've got them, we made four of them. Uh, we've got three on the front porch. One on this end, one on that end, and one over there. Kind of con where they're mostly concentrating at. This is how we're done, just, just simple, just simple stuff. They used uh, scrap four by four pieces. These are treated, <clears throat> but I think they'll work just fine because they're dry. And we'll see, if not, we'll get some untreated ones and redo them. You know, if they don't catch as, as many carpenter bees there is here, if they don't catch something, then we'll have to change the wood because there's a bunch here. Then we're gonna hang this last one up on the back porch. Just just because these are these are just standard pint jars that we but I think we got these at Dollar General store. They come in like four packs or something like that. Like I said, if we have to change the wood we will. We just reuse the same, you know, the same jars and lids and stuff. Uh if these work we're gonna make a bunch more and hang them up at chicken barn they, all all around the property or you know around the prop the house and stuff like that. So anyway like I said we got these three on the front porch. We'll see how they do in the next few days. We're going to hang this one on the back porch. And if you guys have any questions, just hit us up or whatever. Anyway, if you haven't done so yet, hit that like and subscribe button. If you want to follow what we're doing here on the mountain, we'll catch you on the next one. Good job. I'm watching Skype. I'm watching Skype. There you go. Good job.